and uh, I'm just gonna go right back through there uh, pretty much because it it just doesn't make sense for me not to um, I'm gonna go back into the caverns and I'll probably just find a save point in there I'm not really gonna take it uh, too far in there it's because I don't feel that I'll uh, be able to properly cover it entirely ah my fucking Christ okay I kinda wonder Nope. Three of one shot. Yeah, this area is actually a good bit more uh, interesting in, uh, like later in the game. Um, I don't want to quite spoil it, but for anyone who hasn't actually played the game yet. But uh, yeah, suffice to say, um, that area uh, definitely gets a lot more interesting later on. Okay. Let's see where I'm at. Filling this area up above here, and yeah, this is another one of those areas that, uh, again, it's it, it's pretty annoying to traverse if you don't have these gravity boots. Uh, the gravity boots don't take a lot of uh, MP either, which is nice. So. So, let me just go down here. I think there's another save point. Ah, fuck. Okay, that's a bit annoying. I have to wait for myself to fall. Ah, uh, never mind. I'll do one more thing here, because I'm pretty sure this is, uh, gonna be the last component I actually need to, uh, you know, really progress in the game, but I'm not actually gonna go there at this point. Progressing, that is. I'm actually still gonna cover... Uh, in the lower portion of the castle first. Uh, and here's where we get our, I think, meal tickets and stuff like that. Yeah, I'm not going to bother with these candles uh, if they're out of the way. Most of these are just like one dollar, so... And that starts with the confusion of my inventory. Oh, and thankfully I uh, kept my axe here because this boss battle can be a little bit annoying if, uh, you know, depending on how you're equipped. So here we go. Obviously that's not a real save point. Um, this is basically a, uh, this is a nightmare sequence where uh, it, it's kind of a distorted version of uh, essentially the, the last moments of Alucard's mother's life. If I'm not mistaken, what happened to her is uh, she was essentially mist mistaken as a witch. Uh, I believe what had happened was she was, I, I don't know if she was like some kind of herbalist or what, but uh, essentially she had uh, she had actually cured somebody with uh, like a potion of some sort, and uh, again was, you know, deemed a witch. Um, th this is essentially why you know Dracula holds such a grudge, uh, you know, against humans, uh, because obviously his his wife was doing something, 
you know, that was essentially, you know, supposed to be helpful, and of course it, it cost her her life, basically. Although this isn't, uh, again, this is a distorted view on it. Uh, basically, uh, she right there is actually saying, you know, that he's supposed to, you know, to despise humans and you know, to basically kill them and relieve them of their misery and everything like that. Um, it's actually not, of course, his mother. It's uh, it's an illusion. Um, you'll see here in a moment. It's actually the, uh, the succubus here. And yeah, this isn't really too bad of a boss battle. Um, it's, again, just a matter of being equipped properly. And, and it's actually kind of funny because, uh, you know, uh, other boss battles, like, for instance, uh, I can't remember his name at the moment. Um, he has, like, a really long name. Uh, it's the Raven guy that you'll meet later. Or no, that I already beat, actually. Yeah, the best thing you can do here is uh, just at least make sure that you have, uh, you know, some means of, you know, hitting in the air and also hitting several things at once. Uh, Tetra Spirits does really well. Uh, I mean, obviously, as you can see, she doesn't really last all that long. Between the Axe uh, and the Tetra Spirits, uh, it's not really a difficult boss battle. If you didn't have Tetra Spirits or a sub-weapon that can hit, um, you know, like up in the air, this can be a bit of a problem. Um, not so much in this version, it's kind of weird. Um, I noticed in the PSP version, at least from my experience, she just flies a lot higher in this boss battle, it's kind of annoying. Um, but again, that's more so in the PSP version, that's the only time that's really happened, and you can't hit her at all, so it's, uh, it's a little bit aggravating. That's our, uh, I believe that's the gold ring uh, that I had mentioned earlier. So what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to save, and uh, that's actually going to be all for you know this particular playthrough. Um, generally, I'm going to try to keep these under you know two hours apiece, simply because uh, you know that, that's the limit of my recording. But um, in either case, um, I'll actually you know continue on. I'll probably finish up this castle in the next uh, next setting, and uh, you know just you know, kind of progress the storyline a bit more after that. But um, in the meantime, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.